Hi, I'm Bonnie Hari from foodbabe.com. As you may know, I'm known for getting the yoga mat chemical azodicarbonamide out of Subway's famous bread last year. Over 100,000 of you signed this petition and without you, Subway would have never made this change. I thank you so much for making that happen. But I'm not here today to talk about yoga mats or shoe rubber. There's an even bigger issue that we need to address at Subway. I've been working with several experts and consumer advocacy groups for the past year on this very important issue, and we are now ready to take action, and we need your help. Subway is serving us meat that is raised with antibiotics, and this is irresponsible. That's because antibiotics are being routinely fed to farm animals not to treat diseases, but to fatten them up and make them grow bigger on less food. Almost all of the antibiotics in the U.S., about 80% of them, are fed to farm animals. This overuse of growth-promoting antibiotics is creating superbugs that could threaten the entire human population. When animals are constantly fed low levels of antibiotics, they become a breeding ground for antibiotic-resistant bacteria, and it's spreading to humans. We now have bacterial infections that only a few years ago could be cured and are now not responsive to any known antibiotics. Thousands of people are dying and experts believe it's going to get worse. Some major food companies have taken action by committing to stop this practice. Meanwhile, Subway headquarters is silent on the issue. This April, we sent a letter to the CEO of Subway, Fred DeLuca, asking him to engage with us to discuss opportunities for them to step up as leaders and to commit to eliminating these antibiotics from their chicken suppliers and eventually to eliminate these antibiotics across all supply chains, including their turkey, beef, and pork. Subway has a responsibility to make this happen. Join us and sign the petition at foodbabe.com slash subwaymeat. I know together we can make this happen.